Hey there guys, um, while I remember, there's going to be a few changes um, coming to this channel after the competition. So one of the goals was after I broke the um, 4,000 subscriber mark, which I've done, and thank you guys all for the support, the following, the comments, the likes, the shares. Thank you very, very much. Um, I'm going to give you guys some content that is a lot more educational um, and really designed to help you troubleshoot injury um, and then help with like prehab and rehab. So I'm going to be bringing two osteos on board um, and we're going to go through common issues. So shoulder problems, um, whether they be anterior, posterior, uh, cause and effect, um, like the mechanism of injury as well as how to treat it and how to avoid it in the future. Um, I have a background in remedial massage and I was studying myotherapy as well. So uh, myotherapy and osteo go very, very well together. Um, and we do a lot of the same sort of stuff in terms of clinical evaluation and, you know, manipulating soft tissue. Um, osteo does a little bit more in terms of manipulating, um, you know, bones and things like that. So, yeah, um, they basically, yeah, go very, very well together. So I'm going to be, as I said, bringing the two osteos on board. Now, one of them's a power lifter as well, and he also competes in jiu-jitsu. So the injuries he gets or sees, you know, from other clients or individuals, mates, competitors, you name it, from um, jiu-jitsu are a fair bit different to what we see in powerlifting. Um, and then the other um, osteo who I'm bringing on board, he has a background in wrestling. So uh national level wrestler um so yeah very good at that and he's also competes in powerlifting as well so you know i'm bringing these two on board because one i trust them one i go and see for you know injury prevention um and that's what i've been doing this comp prep because i can't treat my own back like i can't reach it so this competition prep i've been bringing you know him on board to help treat me um and the other osteo i also train as well so, you know, I've been coaching him and, you know, he recently hit a 150 kilo bench press, um, you know, and his best squats 240 and his best deadlift, I think is 250 kilos. So they're definitely, he's definitely not a weak individual. And the other osteo, I think his best deadlift is around 230 kilos as well. And he's squatted quite close to, sorry, I think his best deadlift was, yeah, 230 and his best squats around 200 bench. I'm not sure, uh, at a guess, educated guess, I'd say 120 to 140, uh, more probably the 140 range. So um, yeah, I'll be bringing these two on board and then the, the style of videos will be very different in that sense. There'll still be a lot of like my own content, a lot of me lifting, um, general talk, updates and the rest of it. But if you guys have questions that you want answered um, specifically related to injury management, you're going to get professional feedback in that regard because you know both of them are licensed and you know practicing practitioners as well one's running his own business and the other's uh working for a clinic you know and he endeavors to open his own business as well as for myself um you know once i have a little bit more time i'm going to go back to study um, my therapy again i want to finish that um, and then, you know, I had to put it on hold due to lockdown. I just, it was just, I couldn't do it during lockdown. Um, and then, you know, at the moment, I'm just doing a whole lot of in-person coaching and a whole lot of online coaching. So um, that's what it will be moving forward. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. Otherwise, have a great day wherever you are.